Hello everyone, um, hello Singaporeans. Um, it is 1 a.m. in the morning now. Um, we just uh, held, uh, I think, a groundbreaking protest in Singapore and um, I just got back home in Charlotte. Um, I've received uh, many comments from people uh, who have been telling me about the news and how the news has said that we have heckled uh, the uh, children. Um, maybe let me share a bit about what I think. Initially, when I saw the news, I um, and I heard what people say, I um, you know it, it it felt bad. Actually, what happened was uh, we walked to the stage and we were waving our flags. Uh, we we didn't we didn't know what was going on on the stage, um, and I saw a video and it was when we were right at the stage that um, the organizers uh, got the uh, children with Down syndrome out to the stage. And I think at that point we left because you know it's not appropriate. So, but I guess the media latched on it and reported that we had called the children. Um, I think there's something I need to just share more with you about myself. And uh, some some Singaporeans have actually asked me to be to be a politician. Um, but you know, after watching this video, you can decide for yourself if I'm the right person. Um, I'm not someone who likes to play politics. I'm a naive person. Um, my friends who have worked with me, my colleagues, my bosses know this, um, and they know this, they have told PAP, because that's what I heard. I used to volunteer with children with autism, and I worked six months with children with autism, and I love my kids. You know, I had this parent who who thought that I really cared for her child and she said that she would like for me to work with her if she goes back to be a principal in a special school because that was how much I treasured the kid and how much I wanted to create a learning experience for the kid. I think, I think for the media to portray me in a different light is perhaps irresponsible from my angle. Um, we we so you know I I love children and and when we saw the children we left it wasn't right to be there you know what I what I found upsetting is Chan Chun Sing and Tan Chuan Jin came out to criticize us what I want to ask. Chan Chun Sing is, you came out now to criticize Hui Hui and I because it's, you think it's the politically right thing to do. You play politics. You play politics. But when the mother who has a Down syndrome child had to kill the child, did you speak up? This is, this is double standards. When there's an opportunity like that to hurt Singaporeans, you did it. But when there are Singaporeans who are actually hurting from your policies or your lack of policies, did you speak up? No, Chan Chun Sing, can you touch your heart? And can you say that you did what was right and that your conscience is clear? Can you do that? You said that a poverty line will create a cliff effect and that's why you wouldn't do it. But estimates have shown that Singapore has a poverty rate of up to 35%. Singaporeans are living in poverty and you are earning millions of dollars. Do you have a conscience? Do you feel bad? When our children with disability need to go to the hospital, they need to have healthcare subsidies, will you increase health subsidies for them? No, you do not. You do not take an incident like that and play up the politics because it's to your advantage. And when there are real issues at hand, Singaporeans are suffering because they cannot get health care and Singaporeans who have to kill their children because they cannot get health care and you don't talk about it. Is this what a minister for the community and family should do? Where is your conscience? Where is your humanity? And Tan Chuan Jin, this is a return of CPF protests. We have been asking the government to give us more than 2.5% in interest you take our money to give to the GIC to earn 6% and only give us back 3%.
it is possible that the GIC and whatever the GIC manages is actually all our CPF. That means we should be getting 6%. Now you took our money, your government took our money and earned from it. Do you feel any conscience that Singaporeans are hurting from it? That we cannot retire? Do you? You earn millions of dollars, but do you understand how hard it is for Singaporeans who earn $1,000 who are unemployed? Do you understand? Now Chan Chun Sing and Tan Chuan Jin, you come out and you think it's cool and you think it's politically, or politically correct to say all this, to win votes. I get it. The PAP has been doing this for the past 30 years. They have been playing politics because they want to keep themselves in power. You want to keep yourselves in power because you can earn from the people. Where is your heart? A government is not supposed to go into government to earn money from the people. In 2007, PAP earned 46 million in salaries. Today, Singaporeans only earn about 100 million in social assistance, only get back 100 million. Do you have it in your heart to say that it's okay? I do not know what you're thinking, PAP. You have no heart for Singaporeans and you pretend you do. And then you latch on opportunities like that to play politics. And then you would latch on opportunities to make the Workers' Party look bad. It's always about making people look bad. What about doing something for Singaporeans, actually helping Singaporeans? If you have returned our CPF, if you give back our 6%, do we need to protest? No. Do I need to protest? I would be able to look for a job and then get on with my life. I will not be fired because the government is playing politics and wants to sack me from my, from my company. No, government is not supposed to do that to its people. Do you have a conscience? I'm asking you. You know, we can play politics all day, but I do not want to play politics and that's why I'm making this video. It's, an, it's as honest as I can get. Some people are telling me to prepare something political. I cannot. I cannot do that. And that's why I'm telling you people. This is who I am. I am honest and that's what I want to be. Now when we spoke to the director, he says he's the director of M-Parks. He told us that we could only use a corner of the Hong Kong Park. And I asked him, isn't that double standards? Would you tell YMCA to use a corner of the park? Now YMCA came to build the tentages all over the park and when the organizer Hui Hui went to the park, she said, then where should I put my tent? The M Parks intervene beforehand and said, okay, now there are two parties, let us intervene beforehand and look at how we can share the space. Did they do that? Now if M Parks wasn't going to do that, and when we came and on the last minute they told us to use a small space, then what should we do? Look, we are being fair and we try to be fair. Now it is the government that does not allow Singaporeans to protest. It is only natural that Singaporeans should be able to protest. But the, the government only wants to give Singaporeans Hong Kong Park. If the, if the government does not allow us to have that space because they took up the space, can we go to Orchard Road? Can we go to Raffles City? Will the government allow us to do that? It is not the right of the government to decide. It is the right of the people to decide. I am very disappointed with the PAP. You know, at this point I am still disappointed. I should have given up home, right? Now the PAP wants to play politics because it wants to keep itself in power and has been doing so for at least the past 30 years to earn money for itself. Now I get it. If, but if you want to make money, you get out of government, please. The lives of Singaporeans are suffering. And instead of playing politics so that you, should, you can keep yourself in power, can you please do something right for Singaporeans? But we know you won't, and that's why we need the opposition, or we need... We need home. We need a new government. No, Singaporeans, you have to decide for yourself. I'm just making a very honest video here. I'm not someone who plays politics, I cannot do it. But I want to be honest to you. I don't
don't think no, I'm not the kind of person who wants someone who wants to see someone get hurt. I will not do that. And I have been doing jobs which allow me to help people. Now the PAP do you have a conscience? That's that's all I can ask. Do you have a conscience? Do you have a conscience for the people? Do you hurt at night? Can you sleep at night knowing that people are suffering and you're earning millions of dollars? Can Do you have a conscience when you play politics and hurt other people? You know, when I... S just to round it off, when I saw the news, my first thought was... I felt bad. I wanted to apologize. But my friend told me, look, they are playing politics. If you apologize, they're going to latch on it. When I, when I was sacked, I apologized because I did not want to put my company in a bad state, in a bad position. And I understand that they did not want to fire me. So I apologized. And then the media used it against me. And when the government sent out a media release, that was when it was... That was when I realized it was political. So, when I read the news today, I felt bad. I wanted to apologize. But then I saw videos, other videos coming up, which showed that, you know, the kids were being pushed out when we came. So, and then when I read the news and saw how every report said that the kids were heckled, and then that was when I realized again, you know, this is my second over again. They are playing politics again and using it against us. You know, I just want the government to take care of the Singapore Singaporeans. Return our CPF, take care of Singaporeans. That's all. If, if the government does its job, the people will be happy. And we will be contented. That's all. Now, I do not know how else to put this to you. But PAP, Chan Chun Sing, Tan Chuan Jin, Gui Xin Long. Do you have a conscience? When people are suffering, why are we still playing politics? Why can't we just move on and, no, really move on and start looking at how we can help people? Really move on. I'm. I'm tired that the politics keep coming. I just want to do my job to raise awareness. You know, to actually implement solutions. Let us, let us have a chance. Implement solutions. Help Singaporeans. Can we do that? Can we? Please stop playing politics. Can we have a conscience? I know that's not possible because some people will be looking at this and saying, are you kidding me? Yes, I, I am a naive person, I told you. That's all I have to say. I'm just making this honest video in the hope that in the hope that I can be honest, I can share what I can share. And and people can decide for themselves can judge for themselves. Um, you know, at the end of the day, do you have a conscience? Will you help the people? And if you don't, please let go. And Singaporeans, please, do what's right and vote what is right for ourselves, please. Thank you.